today I'm fixing to leave to go to Gershenberg's clinic for my very first vampire facelift facial not quite sure exactly what I'm getting but supposedly this is supposed to be softened and some of the other wrinkles I have no makeup on because don't need makeup on for this so wish me luck okay I have to wash my face so I'm gonna set this here okay now I have to put the numbing cream on my gloves so that that way my fingers won't be numb They gave me smalls. I have man hands. I forgot to tell them that. Okay, good enough. Uh oh. So, generously means you can see it? Yes. When I did mine, I caked it on, yeah, especially up here. Up here and right there. the most tender spot in the upper lip. Oh, I don't want to feel it at all, so. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice and like all white. They said, cake it on. Does it need to be better? No, you're good. You'll start feeling it. Oh, it's already kind of weird feeling. Numbing cream is on. Okay, I'm sitting waiting. Got my blood drawn. Here is my blood spinning. It's about 15 more minutes. Okay, here's my blood. It's doing its thing. Awesome. Let y'all know. I'm gonna finish my paperwork. It's about to fill that up, so watch. So it puts it back in there? Well, this is your red, just your red cells. Okay, mm -hmm. that's all waste. And so it took all the rest of the serum with a little bit of red cells. And this is your platelet rich plasma. And it's putting your PPP or platelet poor plasma in there. Now we're done. So this is the skin pen. And in the bottom are 14 little tiny needles. Can you see those? I put my glasses on my can. That's right. <laughs> and so here I can adjust the depth depending where we're going on the face with these needles. So okay. more shallow or more deep. You can see I'm kind of poking out and angry right there. Mm -hmm. So we probably won't be going that deep today. I'm going to start on the forehead. So here is your PRP going on right. There it goes. We'll get it everywhere. Just have a little fun with it. All right, here we go. Pretty okay? Yeah. I mean, it stings a little, but it's not yeah. bad. You should see the little needle poke, but you won't be bleeding. So right now, I'm just kind of test driving things. to see how your skin handles, how thick how thick skin you are. <laughs> I'm hard-headed. Does that count? Oh, sure. We all have a little bit of that. And every person's different. Not everybody the, needs the same number, so we always adjust it. You can feel that just a little bit more there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not unbearable, but you do feel it. Yeah. I've had this done, so I do know what it feels like. You can just do microneedling and not use the PRP. Some mm -hmm. people do do that. But this just kind of adds some magic to it. What I'm doing is uh, kind of spreading the PRP all evenly on the areas because what you can't see really is it's created a little redness on your face mm -hmm. um, and you want to get a kind of a that kind of inflamed response and that little you can't see the little micro punctures mm -hmm. Um, I could do it deeper, but you always do it to, hey, you want to get redness. That's the main thing, mm -hmm. uh, which I can wipe some of this off and see that between here and then right here around your eye, what I didn't get, this is definitely red and mm -hmm. irritated and inflamed. And so it's not just the, the PRP, which is there, mm -hmm. but I want the PRP to stay on there and dry nicely.
the filler around the, the lines here. Mm -hmm. And then today I'm going to uh, inject and kind of fill underneath the tear trough here with just some regular of your uh, PRP. So will you fill it? Does that hurt worse than the... Mm. It's a needle. It's a poke. Um, I'll, let me get a piece of ice. I'll put it on there to numb it up and you won't feel that initial poke. Okay. Lady. To get the filler part done. So like I said, you'll have some puffy bags for a little while, but this will diffuse out over time and in a couple hours you won't notice any of this puffiness. Okay. As the PRP kind of goes into the tissues around and underneath the eye, that'll help it not have um, that sunken in and dark look. And done a few times, I know that PRP and or the Botox is a good natural way to make that, improve that. Okay, come back over this one now. That wasn't too bad of a thing, was it? Mm -mm, Not thank after the eyes. I would say thank you for the eyes. <laughs> you bet. So what are the do's and don'ts with all this? Um, let it dry on your face. I want you to leave your face with the PRP on your face for about um, two hours, at least one. Mm -hmm. um, you leave it for two, you'll get the full effect of what you need. And just just use water to wash your face tonight. That's oh. it. Okay. No soap or anything else. And after you do that, I'm going to give you this uh, the altar uh, or the skin views treatment to put on right after that. And you'll apply that tonight. Mm -hmm. And then you'll apply that again after you wash your face. Whatever you normally, general cleanser you wash in the morning, you can apply the same uh, healing uh, cream we're going to give you. Okay. Okay. It's been about an hour. There's not any pain. It feels a little inflamed. Nothing bad. Scaring my family half to death. A little puffy here. He said it would be that way until by the time we go to bed. Good Halloween costume. And so I just need to leave this on for about another hour. Pretty excited. So it's been close to two hours, for sure an hour and a half. I really feel like a little bit more. And I'm gonna rinse off my face. I'm using a rag just so I can help try to get it around my hair. The water's warm, it's not hot, it's not cold. Give you a little bit of irritation. Nothing major. I'm just kind of tell that I have a little sunburn. Not even really that bad. It looks worse than it is. Ooh, it looks really bad. Just kidding. I'm not rubbing it, I'm just using the rag for water. So I just used Skin Fuse. It was given to me to go along with the microneedling. This is what they recommended. And it comes out like a clear gel. It doesn't feel, I mean, it's not soft and moisturizing. Ah! Can you see it? Anyway, after the microneedling, you need that for part of the healing. Anyway, two hours out from Vampire Facial. We'll come back a little bit later and see what it looks like. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> it has been five and a half hours. Oh, hey, even better. Excited to see what tomorrow looks like. Good morning. It is six o'clock in the morning, so I've had this 13 hours. I have showered already. I just used water, and I did put on skin fuse. So it feels a little tight with that on. It doesn't hurt, but there are a few little spots. Swelling where he did the injections right here. Still a little puffy, but not as bad at all. But it doesn't hurt. It just feels a little irritated, not even as bad as a sunburn would at all. It just looks scary. So I decided to put a little bit of a tinted moisturizer on. Just kind of makes it not so red. So I can wait 24 hours before putting makeup on. This is Wednesday morning. It's been about a day and a half. Definitely looks way better. Redness is way less. Swelling under my eyes have gone down. Got a little redness, but 
doesn't look bad. I have to just wash my face. I haven't put my little cream on yet. Pretty excited about some makeup today. I'm sure everybody else that has to look at me will be too. I'm very excited. It's healing quickly. Two and a half days after Vampire Facial. It's looking better. Under my eyes, a little red. That's okay. Can't see it, but my face is peeling. Of course, I just showered, and I noticed it in the shower and really rubbed a lot of it off. But it's just a light peel. It's not very bad on my nose. But, like I said, I did rub a lot of it off, so it gets all nice and shiny. So today, some good moisturizer. We'll see what it looks like tonight. Okay, it has been a week since Dr. G did the vampire facial on me. And I just have a little bit of bruising, just barely right there. Everything else looks great, feels great. Don't know the best lighting, because it's a little scary with no makeup on. But I just want to give a report. I do feel like my skin has a nice little glow to it. Peace out. Okay, it has been two weeks since my vampire facial and very excited, very happy. They said it takes two, three months to get the full effects of it. I do feel like my skin is more plump as far as just not dry and some of the fine lines are gone. Of course, I smile all day, so that's not gonna go away, but I do feel like it's softened a little and the injections under here definitely I feel looks better 